Hello, hello. Welcome back to another Build with Maya. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a super quick tutorial on how to import your Figma designs into Bubble. And I do want to caveat this a little bit because I do think that Figma, um, you know, integration with Bubble is not that great. Um, but it's still worth, you know, importing some designs here and there. So I just got like a landing page from the community, Figma community. So what I want to do is go to this account, help an account, account settings. And if you go scroll down, if you scroll, <laughs> sorry, it's been a long day. If you scroll down, you can add your API key or token. So you can just say API, for example. So um, copy the token and if you go to general, you should have a place to import your design. So you want to put in your API key here and you want to put in your file ID, which is usually just this, you know, this part of the link. Um, it should just be a bunch of letters and characters. So now that you've done that, it should work. Yeah, it's probably going to make it into two pages, most likely. Because if you want to import just one frame, you, you could, you know, copy it onto a new page. Um, but if you have two things here, like a component and also a frame, then it's probably going to make it two separate pages. So it, it takes quite a bit of time, but you'll see what I mean when it finishes loading. Um, because Bubble has its own, like, elements. And one of the things that I made a mistake on when I was building my app was I didn't really focus on making it responsive, which is, like, big mistake on my end and um, once you import the design you know you're still gonna have to you know adjust the design a little bit to make it responsive using containers and stuff but you know just wanted to have this demo out there for anybody who needed something to kind of learn how to do this awesome so now you can see it's kind of imported the design and you basically have your I guess main things here but like I said you know if you have a button like one big problem is like you're gonna have to pull put in your button element back here um, because this this would just be a group you can always like you know add workflows to the group but you, you I guess you kind of understand what I mean by you know it's not ideal but it's good for certain things so um, awesome well I hope this helped and see you in the next video